Welcome to Florian Hall. Can I have everyone please rise as we have the grand entrance of our recruits. Can I have Lenny D'Souza come to speak, um, sing the national anthem, a human resource director? stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glow the bombs bursting still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave oh, the standing while we retire the colors.
Our invocation today will be done by Boston Fire Chaplain, Chief Chaplain John Uni. Please remain standing. Thank you, Brian. Lenny, unbelievable. <laughs> Tribute to our country and the department. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Father John Uni. I'm a chaplain at uh, Boston Fire, and uh, also here is uh, Chaplain Rabbi Ira Korf and Father John Curry, and on behalf of uh, Reverend Carl Thompson and uh, Chief Chaplain Emeritus, Father Dan Mahoney, welcome. It's good for us to be together this morning. Mayor Wu, we're so happy that you're here. Commissioner Burke, Dempsey, Finn, former commissioners, chiefs, the command staff, and I hope I don't leave anybody out, but just welcome uh, everybody. It's good for us to be together and to be uh, with you and your leadership. As we gather on this rainy morning, I remember when I first started uh, my job. I'm basically talking to you guys here to my right, you know, the, kind of my uh, graduation, but it was called an ordination. And it was 1992, 30 years ago, and I was excited and ready to go. Put a lot of time and work into the prep. And uh, one of the good things about you guys is that you didn't have to make one of the promises that we had to make, and that was celibacy. So you got a much better future ahead of you on that level. But anyway, I digress, huh? But I was excited, and uh, I wasn't sure about what the future was going to be like. It felt good, but I was open, a little nervous. Am I going to succeed? Maybe the same things that ha you have going on in your minds and your hearts right now. Going to meet all kinds of people. We're going to be accepted. Was I going to like it? Were they going to like me? Again, I don't know if any of this resonates with you guys. But one of my other questions was, is this my calling? Not just a job, but a calling. And maybe it's not too different with all of you. You might be psyched and excited about today, a little nervous, although I'm sure nobody would ever admit that. You know, whether as a probie, will you be accepted? Will you be liked? Will you do a good job? Will you have a good group? Whatever place you go, whatever house you go to, be yourself. Be authentic. Our country, our city, our departments need people who are authentic and real. Be a representative for the city, an ambassador of goodwill. And be someone who will be trusted. I come from an organization where that trust was broken. And it's taken a long time to repair it. We're not even fully there. Be somebody who can be trusted, somebody who's safe, and somebody who will protect. Also be somebody who, the, who will take initiative, who will help and take care and not take advantage of. Be quick with a smile and watch for the negativity and cynicism that can breed in close quarters and with closed minds. Fight against it and be the change. Even thing, though things can go sideways and not all, always in good ways, and that can happen fast. Be grateful for the opportunity to spend time with your group as you develop those relationships, your wives, your husbands, your kids. Use the time that you have, not working seven days a week, to build and strengthen your families and your relationships. Don't squander that opportunity because our parents didn't have that. They were working three jobs just to keep things going. And then remember that this job is in service, not just to self, for benefit, but to others. And if it's more than a job and more of a calling, you'll be happier. You'll be more content, more peaceful, both at work, at home, in your marriage, with your kids, in your relationships. And lastly, know how much people count on, appreciate, and trust us in all that we do, but especially in what you guys are doing. Even if there's no thanks in an awful situation, know the difference that you make for good and for life. As you represent the Boston Fire Department, Braintree, Dedham, Malden, and Weymouth Fire Departments. So with that, let us pray. 
And as we pray, we come from many different faith backgrounds. So may the God of our understanding open us. Lord God, bless this graduating class and all of us gathered here this morning. Give each of these new members of the Boston Fire Department, the Braintree, Dedham, Malden, and Weymouth Fire Departments, strength and courage. May God give you insight and openness as you begin your career. God, help them see this as a calling as they serve with generosity. Guide and protect them at work, at home, with their families and friends. And God, bless this country, this city, this warring world, especially as we think of and pray for the people of Ukraine this winter and all that's happening there. And bless the service of all the women and men who are protecting our country here at home and abroad. And may this blessing of our good and loving God be with all of you today. Let Florian Hall say amen. amen. Please be seated. I next like to call to the stage the Mayor of Boston, the Honorable Michelle Wu. Good morning, everyone. Thank you all so much for being here, for packing in, and especially to the, the family members and loved ones and friends in the back. Uh, we're going to try to keep our remarks short because we know what you're here for, and thank you for your patience and, and being part of the standing room only crowd to properly celebrate, cheer on, and thank our soon-to-be new firefighters. Um, there are many, many dignitaries in the room, and so I, I know I'm going to miss some folks, but I do want to recognize the leadership and uh, gratitude that I have to be able to serve alongside so many. Of course, starting with our incredible commissioner, Paul Burke, thank you for your service, thank you for your leadership. We are joined here, as mentioned, by former commissioners, uh, Jack Dempsey, Joe Finn. Thank you for all that you continue to do for the city. We're so proud to, to have you here today. Local 718 President Sam Dillon, thank you for always being there. Uh, we're grateful for you, and I know that there's some uh, royalty also of, of the international and uh, former presidents here as well. So Eddie Kelly of the International Association of Firefighters, uh, thank you for keeping Boston front and center always. And I know I saw Richie Paris, and he'll be he'll have a special role later later here today. But thank you for your leadership as a former president of 718. Father John, and, and to all of our uh, chaplain corps, you, you make this job have the full meaning that, that it deserves. I also want to recognize uh, some Boston officials in the room. I see City Councilor Ruti Lijen, at large councilor here, uh, City Councilor Aaron Murphy. Did I miss any other Boston elected officials? There's a big, big crowd here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to thank also and, and welcome our uh, friends and colleagues from the other municipalities represented here. Mayor Chuck Kokoros is here from Braintree. Thank you for being with us. Um, I know that Select Board Chair Jim McDonald, Jim, where's Jim McDonald? He was here earlier. Uh, came to cheer on um, for a select, Denim Select Board Chair McDonald is here. And um, I, did I miss any of our colleagues from Weymouth and Malden? Okay, well thank you, we welcome you, and I know the uh, leadership from fire chiefs across the region are also here represented. Um, you couldn't find a more committed and passionate crowd of people than this room right now to ensure that we all have your backs and that we are gonna make sure you all are successful in not only this transition, from your training to officially joining that firehouse and joining the coming on the job, but in the many years ahead that we will fight to make sure that you have the resources that you need, not only to serve our communities, but for your health and wellness. And uh, the commissioner and I have many, many conversations about wanting to put those resources into the state-of-the-art facilities and equipment and um, everything that can wrap around you so that when you are healthy and well, our communities will be healthy and well. This is a job that 
is much more than a career or a vocation. It is clearly something that people are called to, to serve. You are the folks who will be rushing into situations at every hour of the day, no matter how uncertain, no matter how much emotion and stress is on the minds of the families you are stepping into. They may not remember your names afterwards because you're, they're meeting you for the very first time, but they will forever remember the service that you're providing and the ways in which you were there when they most needed help. We thank you for that and recognize the risks that go along with that, the sacrifices that you are making, that your families have already made and are standing with you every step of the way. This is a city that is proud of our legacy of service. And um, we welcome and are so grateful that our colleagues from cities across the, the region are here and we're so um, excited to see the ranks grow across all of these municipalities. Um, I wanna say a special word to our Boston recruits. You are joining the finest firefighting force in the nation. That comes with it an incredible weight, and that comes with it a sense of pride that we all have in you, and that we know you will have in each and every one of our communities and our neighborhoods. This is a city that will wrap around you. I've had the honor and pleasure of going to stop by some of our firehouses, and I thought that if I brought a little bit of um, my favorite cookies or treats for the holidays, that, that might make a difference, but usually I'm just adding a, a tiny box onto a pile of uh, goodies that the local schools and uh, childcare programs and neighbors have already brought because they are so thankful for the service that you all provide. And so uh, to those who are serving already, to the, the leadership, the chiefs and, and captains and district chiefs and everybody who is served now and set that role and become a role model for these recruits. Thank you for what you do every single day. We are going to continue ensuring that Boston lifts up the legacy that is before us and that we continue to honor and celebrate properly all that you are putting into this job. Congratulations, thank you, and welcome to the Boston Fire Department and to the many, many, to this, this family that will have your back. Thank you, ma'am. I'd like to now call our next speaker, the Commissioner of Boston Fire Department, Commissioner Paul Burke. Thank you, Brian. I'd like to thank everybody for attending today's graduation. Commissioner Finn Dempsey, Deputy Commissioner Wong, all the command staff, thank you all for being here today. Mayor Wu especially, thank you. Without your support, our department would not have days like this. This is a great thing. Captain McCarthy, where is he? Right here. Thank you and your entire staff for the hard work you did training in this class. Very good job. To the members of the graduating class, congratulations. Today is the last day you will all be together in the same location. Enjoy your success. You belong to the best profession in one of the best departments in the nation. You've completed your, our academy and now join our ranks with the responsibility of upholding our reputation. Once you begin working in the firehouse, take time to master your job. The academy gave you a great foundation of skills. It is your responsibility to build on them. Pay attention to the senior firefighters in your firehouse. Spend time each shift familiarizing yourself with the apparatus and the tools. FFOP should be seen and not heard as a good rule to live by during your probationary year. Each one of you have a long career ahead of you. Make it a healthy one. Wear your self-contained breathing apparatus. The dangers of our profession are many. Pay attention to the hazards at not only fires, but at all emergencies. Our department has the best equipment. Learn how to use it for the safety of your fellow firefighters and for yourself. No two emergencies that are the same. At each emergency you respond to, learn at least one thing and put it in your toolbox. To the families of today's graduates, you have every right to be proud. The challenges of our academy are not to be taken lightly. Each graduate has worked hard over these six, last 16 weeks learning the complex and dangerous duties of being a Boston firefighter so that they may serve the great, this great city. With today's graduation, not only have the graduates completed 16 weeks of intense training, your family has grown to include the entire Boston Fire Department. Welcome, everybody.
Our next speaker will be President of Local 718, President Sam Dillon. Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning. I'd like to thank Vice President of Local 718, Leroy Haywood, by far the sharpest dressed person in the room, for being here with us this morning. Members of our Executive Board, Executive Board Commissioner Burke, and your command staff for joining us. Mayor Wu, I believe this is the third recruit class to graduate under your administration, and we thank you for once again being here in attendance. When I graduated from this academy, when I graduated from this academy in 2013, it was the first recruit class under then Mayor, current U.S. Secretary of Labor, Martin J. Walsh. I remember the pride that exuded from him as he accepted the charge of being responsible for such a historic, professional, and capable fire department. As mayor, we were his firefighters, just as now you are responsible to us and us to you. As we both strive to serve the citizens of the city of Boston and our neighboring communities. We sincerely appreciate your, uh, your attendance here today. Thank you. To the members of the graduating class of the Boston Fire Department and our brothers and sisters from neighboring communities who we are very proud to have here this morning, welcome to Foyan Hall and welcome to your new family. Several weeks ago, we welcomed you into the brotherhood and sisterhood of our great local, Local 718. And now today, we cap it off by welcoming you into the ranks of the Boston Fire Department. You have all proven yourselves diligent, dedicated, and capable, successfully navigating the challenging process that is recruit training. Not all of your classmates who started that journey are finishing it with you. And that is certainly not an indictment against them, but a testament to you. Not everyone is meant or cut out to be a firefighter, but you have demonstrated your commitment to achieving that goal. And for that, you should be incredibly proud. You made it through countless up and overs, survived morning PT with senior drill instructor Fitzpatrick, and learned the history of our profession along with some firehouse culture from fire instructor Haddad. You learned the skills and tradecraft unique solely to our profession. And you passed academic tests to get to this point in time right now. As your union president, I am incredibly proud to stand before you, and my pride is eclipsed only by that of your friends and loved ones. Never stop earning your place in our profession, and never forget that it is far more than just a job. This is a calling. Never stop honing your craft, and never stop earning your place in this family. And I promise, I will never stop fiercely advocating on behalf of you and your families. You are about to join the Boston Fire Department and the noble profession that is the fire service. We are the first in the nation. For 344 years, Boston firefighters have been tasked with the charge of protecting our city and the people who live here. We're the best because we're the oldest. And we're the oldest because we are the best. In a few moments, when you have that badge pinned on your chest, we are entrusting you with upholding these traditions, our traditions. The tradition of representing everything that is noble to our profession. The tradition of instilling calm amidst chaos, demonstrating courage amidst fear, and delivering hope amidst despair. Sitting in this room today, right here and now, are men and women who will one day save the life of someone outside in the city of Boston right now. You haven't met each other yet, and you never will until that moment. And in that moment, they will be spared that terrible fate because today you dedicated yourselves to upholding our most important 
and our most sacred tradition, our tradition of saving lives, no matter what the cost. The moment you pin that badge on your chest, our family becomes yours, our legacy becomes yours, and our traditions become yours. In just a few moments, this profession and this calling will become yours. Never stop earning it. And never forget the pride that you are about to experience today. Thank you. Thank you. Our next speaker is responsible for all your recruits looking over them safely for the last 16 weeks. The drill master, Captain Paul McCarthy. Good morning. Good morning, Mayor Wu, Mayor Kokoris, Commissioner Burke, Deputies Calabrese, Marshal, Chief Viola, District Chief Meehan, Commissioners and Chiefs from Braintree, Dedham, Malden, and Weymouth, and the entire Boston Fire Department Command staff. Families, friends, welcome and thank you for joining us on this momentous occasion. First, I must begin by acknowledging all the instructors that have assisted the Boston Fire Academy over the past two years, especially Captain John McDonald, who has the responsibility for the smooth operation of the day-to-day -day activities during the classes. Thank you. Since the pandemic disrupted our lives, these instructors have managed to graduate 280 firefighters. This feat was not only accomplished during the pandemic, but was also accomplished in a building that was designed only for 45 recruits. These instructors came in before the sun rose, set up for the day, stayed late until the sun went down to help the recruits sharpen their skills. Their commitment to the city and department to produce the best firefighters has drawn praise from fire departments all over the state, so much so that many of them request that their recruits come through the Boston Fire Academy. I'm truly honored to work with you as your standard of excellence and pride that can, you continuously demonstrate is unmatched. Thank you. <laughs> 16 weeks ago, these recruits began their journey to become firefighters. Starting from the first day, the standard was set, and that sense of pride in becoming firefighters was instilled in each of them knowing that becoming a firefighter is an honor, not a privilege. During, during their time at the academy, physical fitness and endurance was pressed upon them, building on a foundation that was laid from day one and continued throughout, transforming them into tactical athletes. Over the 16 weeks, these recruits sharpened their skills and became comfortable with using self-contained breathing apparatus and became proficient in ladder operation, engine operations, life-saving skills and operating the tools of the trade. Recruits, as you sit here and look at your families beaming with pride, think of the sacrifices that they made to get you to this point in your life. Family is everything as you've heard many, many times today and will continue to hear it. And don't ever take that for granted. Today your family grew, as firefighting is not a one-person trade, but a group of people that live together to serve this great city and your wonderful towns. Dysfunctional and crazy as they may be, they are now an extension of each of you. Firefighters look out for each other and their families. We are connected on a deeper level because each of us carries the other's life in our hands. This academy has prepared you to keep yourself, your brothers and sisters, your communities and your families safe. Preparing you to become a contributing member of this firefighting family has been challenging, frustrating, and very rewarding. I can say with true confidence that you are now ready to face these challenges in Boston, Braintree, Dedham, Malden, Weymouth. So when you leave here and report for duty, remember that you have not only accepted a job as a firefighter, you have also accepted the daunting responsibility of being the guardian of your city and the towns you now serve. In closing, whatever path you chose to get to this day is behind you. You are now starting fresh 
You are now with firefighters. Make your family proud and the safety of be the best firefighter on the job. Thank you. I think this is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm going to ask the fire commissioners to come up and do the oath of office. All the recruits, please stand. Everybody raise your right hand. I state your name. Aye. Do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and the ordinances of the City of Boston. That I will faithfully discharge the duties of a member of the Boston of the Boston Fire Department and will obey the orders and directions of my superiors to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Come on, you can clap harder than that. We're going to have the presentation of the certificates and badges. All the recruits, please sit. Everybody, please sit. I'm going to call the captain of the academy up, and he's going to announce the names. If you are pinning your loved one, it's alphabetical order, and we're going to ask you when they walk to the stage to walk to the stage with them. So we can, we're can. we going to have a picture on stage, and then we'll keep it moving. So, Captain McCarthy. Our first recruit, Matthew Beck, being pinned by Michael Beck. Kristen's is being uh, pinned by her father, Kenneth Brass.
Stephen Burke being pinned by Abel Burke. Jordi's Castro being pinned by Carlos Castro. Coveney, he and by Deborah, Deborah Coveney. Daniel Curran being pinned by Bill Curran. Tyler Devane being pinned, pinned by Phil Devane.
Sean Donovan. Sean Donovan being pinned by Fire Lieutenant Bill Donovan. by Mike Downing. Robert Florentino, being pinned by Erica Florentino. Chief James O'Brien from Braintree Fire to present the badges to the recruits from Braintree. I'm sorry. Uh, Mayor Kokoris, would you mind attending to the stage, please? Cushing. Being pinned by Jillian Cushing. Hubbard, being pinned by Dan Hubbard. James Kelly, being pinned by Nicola O'Brien.
Michael Millwood, being pinned by Jessica Hano. William Flynn, being pinned by Samantha Flynn. Karen Foley being pinned by firefighter Dennis Kane. Ali Galuski. Thomas Haggerty being pinned by Fire Lieutenant Thomas Gorgon. Rory Hanlon being pinned by James Hanlon.
Ronald Holmes being penned by Ron Holmes. Brendan Hussey, being pinned by Lieutenant Nick Russo. Matthew Joyce, being penned by Mary Joyce. Smith. Kevin Lawler, being pinned by Colleen O'Connor.
James Morahan, being pinned by Deputy Chief Brian Tully. the command staff from Malden Fire Department approach the stage, please. Jared Downey. by Bob Haggerty. Nicholas Rodriguez being pinned by Ariel Rodriguez.
being pinned by her father, LG Sparks. Great name. Brendan Murphy, being pinned by Patricia Murphy. Daniel O'Connell being pinned by firefighter Mike Conley. Joyce O'Donnell. Michael Palazzolo being pinned by his father, Fire Captain Michael Palazzolo.
Michael Paris being pinned by firefighter Richie Paris. And the boss of the Paris family, Eileen Paris. <laughs> Joseph Poles being pinned by District Chief Neil Malay. Alexander Popescu being pinned by Denise Alton. Aiden Prue being pinned by Peter Woolen.
Ron Richards. Being him by Ty Richards. The command staff from the Dedham Fire Department approach the stage. <laughs> Ford Donahue. Christopher Jamail. Timothy Joyce. James Sheehan, being pinned by Lieutenant David Sheehan. Renzo Santangelo, being pinned by, being pinned by his final call system.
Michaela King being pinned by Maria King. Joseph Stallings, being pinned by Brian Stallings. Patrick Steele being pinned by Deborah Steele. Jonathan Stratton, being pinned by Jonathan Stratton. Solomon being pinned by Bob and Fitzgerald. Francis Tanny Jr. being pinned by his father, firefighter Frank Tanny.
Andrew Tobias, being pinned by Ronald Tobias. Randy Trinidad Guerrero. Robert Urich, being put by Mega Page and Cecilia. Oh, excuse me, Mega Page. I'm sorry, I'm coming. That's where I should have Have them all come up. Henry Silva Tella. Joseph Upton, being pinned by Megan Page and Cecilia. Jason Wedahan, being pinned by David Wedahan.
Bradley Wong. Bradley. He attended by Michelle Moss. At this time, would the command staff from Weymouth Fire Department approach the stage? <laughs> Zachary Hitchcock. <laughs> yeah, I think I Joseph Petruski, the intent by Dennis Petruski. Bailey Tobin, Tobin. being played by John Griffin. Before I leave the stage, I'd like to uh, congratulate Fire Lieutenant uh, Dan Martel, who's an instructor, on his uh, future uh, promotion to Fire Captain. I'd also be remiss if I didn't acknowledge my brother Billy, uh, Fire Captain on the Boston Fire Department, served 43 years. Enjoy your time. At this moment, it's customary for the graduating class to present the academy captain with a gift. So, please.
Before we close, can we have all the new firefighters stand up so we can give them a round of applause? to now ask the Grand Rabbi Korf come to the stage for our closing prayer. It's been a long morning, so I will try harder to emulate God to be mercifully brief. <laughs> to our firefighters, our new firefighters, welcome to the family. You've been hearing that a lot, that you didn't know you had a rabbi in your family. <laughs> but I don't have to come to Christmas dinner. So. <laughs> Let us pray. Dear Lord, we ask your blessings on all those gathered here, and particularly on these new firefighters joining the family of those in public service, dedicating their lives to others, and to the families that love them and support them and are there for them. Bless them, guide them, sustain them, watch over them, protect them, for all of us, in their holy work. May this be God's will, and let us say, Amen. Amen. That concludes our ceremony for today. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very much.